So he was like, what the hell is going on in here? Caddy oh, said, oh yeah, I'll kick your... Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we have my husband, Tony, here. What's up, y'all? And we are doing some Dungeness crab. We have some mussels, corn, potatoes, and egg. And for today's drink, I'm just doing a berry spritzer. I got a rum and coke. Rum and coke. So let's go ahead and say grace. We do have our mayo and mustard dip back here. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on. Take a shot. Oh. We have our shots. Happy Friday. <laughs> Woo. All right, y'all. I'm ready to eat. I do have a story time today. So we're gonna get through this. Let me eat a little bit. I got some two times spicy. Let me eat one of these potatoes. I got some two times spicy on my uh, crab legs. Tony don't like it on his. Cause he don't like the spice. I Even though it's not that spicy. Yeah, I eat it on there and have it on there. I didn't put it in my dip before. I was gonna tell you drops something in but I didn't. Yeah, it's good on the dip. In the dip. Thank you to everybody that watched the last video. I know you guys enjoyed that story time. But if y'all thought that one was something, okay. Just wait a second. Let me let me get something in my system real quick. Okay. Mm. We got the Dungeons crabs from Rose. If you guys are wondering. Today's story time is from Fears Our Neighbor. Oh. So it was a dude named George, but his friends called him, his friends called him Caddy because he didn't like the, the name George. So I don't know how they came up with that nickname or whatever. Really? So, He moved to a new state. He was retired and he wanted to build a home and just kind of start his life over. He said he wanted peace and quiet. So he moved away from his family and everybody. No wife. I think he did have a daughter, but they didn't live with him. So he met a guy in the neighborhood and the guy basically helped him build his house and he decided that he wanted to build um a duplex so he can rent it out and you know it help him with his bills and stuff and he can basically that way he could basically pick the neighbors that he wanted because he was the landlord so a family came It was a husband and a wife, and they had two kids. So, he thought that the wife will call her Peggy. When he laid eyes on Peggy, he thought that she was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen in his life. Damn. So he was like, welcome home. I don't think they did no credit check, no nothing. He was just ready for him to come on over there. So, everything going good. They getting along. Everything cool. One day, Peggy's coming in from the grocery store. 
And remember, I told you he thought she was a little fox, so he had his eye on her. And he was an older dude, too. He was probably, like, in his early 60s, and she was, like, in her 40s or something. So she coming home from the store. He see her out there getting the groceries. So he go out there and ask her, you know, if she needed some help. So he help her get the groceries. He walk up to the door. He reach in his pocket and pull out the house keys. So she like, oh, hey, yeah, she like, you got a key? So he was like, yeah, you know, I am the landlord. And just in case you guys ever need help or, you know, you need something fixed or something, I, you know, I can just go ahead and let myself in. But... Of course, I won't just come over here, you know, without your permission. So he said, just let me know, you know, if, if you need something fixed. So she said, well, since you're over here, the sink in the kitchen is leaking. So he said, okay, well, just give me about an hour and I'll come fix the sink. Hour rolled around. He came over there, fixed the sink. The little boy is helping him. She had three kids, cause she had two small boys, maybe like eight and six, and then she had like an older teenage boy. So the little boy is helping him. He giving them money, calling them his little helper. So Ann walks her husband. So he was like, what the hell is going on in here? So then he said, oh, you know, she asked me if I can fix the sink. So I just came over here to fix the sink. So he looked at his wife and he was like, oh, you can't wait till I came home. So she just turned around and walked off. So one morning they out in the yard, the mom and the two sons, the younger sons out there playing. Now they was getting a little loud. The kids. Mm hmm Woke Caddy up. So he was like, oh Lord, you know, I gotta go out here and tell them they need to keep it down like it's early. So he headed out there to complain to them that, you know, it was too early to be making a noise. So by the time he got down his steps into the yard, here come the husband coming out the house. Didn't I tell you to keep them kids quiet? Like being very aggressive with her. Like I told you to keep them kids quiet. Oh, the husband was. The husband. Okay. So, Cat ain't have to say nothing cause the husband was already on it. Being very aggressive. Like it was kind of like out of the way. Over the top. Mm-hmm. So, after that day, he noticed that, you know, they would argue and stuff like that because the houses was connected. So, he could hear everything that's going on. So, they'll be fighting the husband, arguing at her all the time. Telling her to shut her mouth before he shut it for all kind of crazy stuff. So, one day she was um, going outside and she told him, she told Kat to come over for a cup of coffee so she could talk to him. So when he came over, she explained to him that the husband had lost his job and he been basically just taking everything out on her and the kids. So he said, well, I'll talk to, to him for you. And mind you, he's an older guy. So, when the husband came home, he told the cat, he said, let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you, young boy. Young let me, let me holler at you, young blood. So, he said, you need to um, watch the way you talk to your wife and your kids. So, uh, the, the husband was like, what? This is my family, my wife, my kids. You don't tell me how to run my household. Caddy said, oh yeah, I'll kick your ass. What? <laughs> yes. Because remember, he already had the hots for his wife. Mm -hmm. Now, now they don't get along. 
So now they beefing. So they get into this big argument. Caddy done went and pulled the peacemaker out. Oh man. On the man. What are we gonna call him? We'll call him Billy. He done pulled a peacemaker out on Billy, told Billy to get off the gap deck on property. He don't want him around there. So he like, what you mean? We just bought this house. What are you talking about? So he said, leave. I don't want you on this property. You need to leave. Got in his truck, followed the dude out to make sure that he left. Dang. So when he got back, the lady, she like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that for me. Thank you so much. <clears throat> So now she kind of leading him on a little bit. Mm. He playing landlord and stepdaddy. Okay. So he going to the house, making sure the kids are all right, buying gifts for the kids, groceries for the house. What they say about the rent? Was she, was she still paying rent? No. Oh my bad. <laughs> so the one son, it was his birthday, the oldest. <clears throat> the oldest son. So he done bought him one of those big guns that got the little clip thing at the back. What is that called? Got the clip thing a at the bottom. A toy gun or real gun? A real gun. Shoot, I don't know. Well, I forgot that on machine gun. I mean, is it a chop? Was it a chopper or? I forgot what all them guns called. But honey, so the wife she looking like. A real gun. A real gun, yeah. She looking like, well, why would you buy him something like that? He was like, well, you know, everybody around here, they go hunting and stuff like that. So, you know, he could have this. So, now he realized she wasn't paying the bills. She wasn't paying rent because you done kicked the whole husband out of the house. And he was the one that was working. Yeah. Even though he had just lost his job, but he still was figuring it out, I guess. So now Caddy is stressed out about the bills. So he got to go over there and have this hard conversation with her because they're not paying rent. He needs to get somebody over there that can pay rent so he won't get behind on his own bills. Oh man. Y'all ain't heard it yet, tell me. So, so he go over there, she start crying. She got on her little booty and you know, making the, the girl stand at attention. He can't even focus now. He like, don't worry about the rent. We'll, we'll just let the rent slide for a little while. Just don't worry about the rent. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. She's like, thank you so much. So, days go by. This fool, I don't know what she did to get him to do this. He come back with a paper with her name on the deed. Out of, no, like, out of nowhere. Like she didn't do nothing. She didn't do no strange thing for no change, nothing. He just came over there one day and said, I put your name on the deed. So she was like, okay, well, thank you. He go to work. He come back home. He noticed they done been in the man's house, in his house, because I guess like you can do a walkthrough or whatever. I'm not too sure how it is. They done been in this man's house eating his food. Okay, he had a whole green bean casserole waiting when he got off work. They done ate his food. Stole some change out of, you know how old people have like the little change in the drawer? Yeah. Stole the change out of the drawer. So when he came home, he like, have y'all been over there at my house? So she was like, no, I would never go over there while you're not there. So he, but he knew she was lying because some stuff was out of place. So they beefing about that and he said, I'm gonna give you until January to be out of here. We got a name on the deed now. Right. So she said, what's going to happen? This is my house too. What's going to happen? So he said, January. So they start getting like, 
I mean, they start getting crazy. So, she in the kitchen. She she got a back turn. She hit a door open and she turned around. She said, Caddy, you can't just walk in my house anytime you feel like it. It's the husband. He said, it's not Caddy, it's me. She was like, oh my God, what are you doing here? If he find out you're here, he's gonna kill us. So, she's, he's saying, I want the husband, he's like, I don't care, this is my house too. I see my, my wife and my kids, this is my house too. So turn out, she was still talking to her husband and oh, okay. she'll just go see him like at the motel and stuff like that. So here come Caddy, cause he can hear everything that's going on through the wall. So he banging on the door, he walks in, the husband has to hide. So he said, I thought I heard voices. She said, no, I just had the TV up too loud. She said, why don't you come by tomorrow and I'll fix you some lunch. So he said, okay, you need some money for some, for some groceries. So he give, she takes the money. So now the husband's sneaking back and forth in the house. They eventually start like not getting along. Her, her and Caddy? Her and the husband. Okay. So he come, so Caddy come over there with his pistol. Saying he told that son of a B not to be on his property. He come over there with um some big gun. I don't know where they get these these um weapons from. He come over there with this big gun, points the gun at the lady. Oh, at the lady? Tell her he gonna kill her, drags her out the house into his house. So what the husband do? The husband go get the gun that Caddy bought for the son. Oh man. So he decides he gonna go and shoot up, at least shoot the trees up to try to scare, cause she in the house screaming, he don't know what's going on. So he shoot, shoot at the trees in front of Caddy's house. They still don't come out. He shoot up the side of the house. They come running out. Ain't trying to side of the house. Right. So they ran and went back to the house. Caddy come knocking on the door again. And he said, I've been hit. <laughs> no, he said, he just said he was going to kill him. They need to get off his property. He was going to kill him. Now the gun that he had ran out of bullets. Who, Caddy? Or the, no, the, the, dad. the Yeah, the dad. So he had to go get like a little handgun. Okay. Caddy had this big gun where he got a whole two hands. So when the dude came with the handgun, Caddy bust out laughing. He said, what do you think you're going to do with that? So the dude said, at this point, he said it was either him or Caddy. So he shot him in the stomach. Caddy bent over, but he still was coming back up like he wanted to get a shot in. The dude shot him again. You know, Caddy? You doing too much talking. Caddy walked off and fell in the grass. When the police got there, the story that they told them didn't match up because the bullets wasn't in front of their door. It was like in the yard, like the dude went over there to him. So it turns out the husband went on a rampage. He really did shoot up, shoot the um, house up with that big freaking, I don't even know what kind of gun it was. He really did shoot the house up. And then when the old guy came outside, he shot him. So he ended up doing 40 years. Wow. Cause he tried to say it was self defense, but the evidence didn't match up. So <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the charge was, but he had 40, he got 40 years. That's murder. Oh, that's murder? First degree murder, 40 years, yeah. That's a lot of years. Why not life? I don't know. That's up to the jury and the judge. 
And the, the husband was the one telling the story. He was telling his side too. He was out? Yeah, he was, he was tell, no, he was telling the story. He said, I think he was still in jail. So of course, the lady was able to keep the house because he had her on the deed. But they said that she felt real bad about him passing away and stuff like that. So she eventually moved. She sold that mom. Mm -hmm. um, that story was so crazy. Yeah, that was a crazy story. Like I've never experienced in real life, like I've never had a friend that say like, I can't stand my neighbors or, you know what I'm saying? To where it go that far, like, that show Fear That Neighbor, they get crazy on that show. Yeah, they do. I'm waiting for Ooh, my lips burning, y'all. I got some. I told y'all I put some two times spicy on my crabs. And they hot. Your lips burning? Mm-hmm. My bottom lip. Okay guys, so I hope you're done eating. If you're eating with us, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the next two videos at the bottom of the screen and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all. Peace out.